Should we go downstairs? <laughs> Come on, let's go downstairs, shall we? Everybody follow me. Like the bloody Pied Piper, I swear. This is a nice one, nice and positive. Current favourites, but like absolute favourites, things that I'm like, ah, <laughs> ah, favourites. And I'm gonna get to the favourite coat, I'm gonna get to the favourite interiors tweak, I'm gonna get to the favourite book. I wanna start off with beauty. And it's a new skincare launch from Beauty Pie. Now I feel like this kind of melds together two really incredible things from Beauty Pie. The first being the rich, deep hydration of, I don't know whether you've heard me talking about this before, but it's one of my favorite products from Beauty Pie. It's the rich moisturizer from the Japan Fusion range. And it almost turns your skin, it's so deeply hydrating, it's almost like your skin's like turgid, like a waterbed, you know. It's, it's so effective. So I feel like this new launch melds together that, the moisturizing powers of that, with the power, power, as in active ingredients power, of the Youth Bomb range. Now, Youth Bomb range has started off with this serum, packed full of active ingredients. It sort of just ticks, ticks every box, really. It's like a cocktail, the cocktail of youth. <laughs> Have I just made that up, or is that on a press release somewhere? But it describes it quite accurately. Well, brilliant, but hello, mix that with intense moisturization for a kind of like a, a one step everything. Um, that's catchy. A one step everything. Beauty Pie will be stealing that, won't they? This is the Youth Bomb Collagen Peptide Cream. Now look, this cream. I'd actually call it like a, a cream gel, really, or gel cream, whichever way around you want to say it, um, is hardly need any at all. I mean, it's just so, so potent. This has over 18 active ingredients, cutting edge active ingredients. So you've got peptides, which visibly help to firm, soften and smooth the skin. Then you've got niacinamide in there, which is brilliant for helping to strengthen the skin's barrier. Also great for reducing signs of sun damage. And it's all very, very high tech. Helping the skin to maintain its moisture content, skin barrier function, helping to reduce those dark spots, signs of sun damage, and skin just looking healthier, glowier, more plumptious. I'm gonna throw in dewier. You know when you just wanna sort of squeeze it and just see what's going on because it looks so full and juicy. That's this, in a pot. <laughs> to go a bit over the top there. Now look, the Beauty Pie membership thing is very, very easy to understand. I don't know why every time I have to explain it, I get something completely wrong, but let's just have a stab at this, shall we? Beauty Pie works on a membership basis. They make their products at the same labs across the world, luxury labs, as the very, 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 very expensive brands. However, they don't have those middleman costs. So like retailer costs, because they're selling directly to you and they don't have massively fancy packaging. Although I always think their packaging is beautiful. So they have the price that you would, it would be worth, like the equivalent price, if they were comparing their products to other products on the market that were the same level of quality. But then they have their membership price. So if you're a member, you get it at a ridiculously reduced rate. Honestly, the best thing to do is just to go to the website and when you log in, you can see what the membership prices are and the equivalent retail price. So in a nighttime routine, I'd start off with my Plantastic Cleansing Balm. This is the Apricot Butter Cleansing Balm. It's absolutely incredible. It's one of my favorite cleansers, regardless of price. I just reach for that again and again and again. It has a beautiful texture, gets off makeup, dirt, grime, sunscreen, and then you remove it with a washcloth. No residue, comes off completely clean. So this is the Super Retinol eye cream, and it's just faultless, really. Can't think of anything I don't like about it. And then just straight in with the Youth Bomb Serum. So massively powerful, massively potent. 
loads of active ingredients, completely just like water on the skin. Feels absolutely weightless. However, if you're worried that you're not gonna get enough moisturization, fear not, because I'm following it with the Youth Bomb Collagen Peptide Cream, which is, as I said before, deeply, deeply hydrating. Now, every other night, as you know, I like to use retinol. So I have one night of deep hydration, one night of retinol. One night deep hydration, one night retinol. Hydration, retinol, hydration, retinol, hydration, retinol. But you get the picture. On my retinol night, I'm going in with my Plantastic Cleansing Balm, in with the Super Retinol Serum. You can follow that, again, with the Youth Bomb Collagen Peptide Cream. So that's the routine. This is the cream. Use the link in the description to go and take a look around the website. Let me know how you get on. If you buy anything, I want to hear about it. Let's go on to the next favourite. So one of my favourites is, weirdly, the length of my hair. Sounds a bit abstract. However, I really struggle with styling my hair and I always have done ever since I started modelling. People used to chop my hair off and I didn't know what to do with it and I didn't know how to style it to the you know, to show it off to the best of its style and cut. Um, so I was happiest when it was long and I just did nothing to it. However, I do like it slightly shorter because I feel like it looks a bit more interesting. It's maybe slightly more youthful. I don't know, you might disagree. Um, and I feel like I'm entering this sweet spot of hair stuff because there were a couple of hair tools, like a hot brush and some wavers and stuff like that, that I feel like I'm kind of getting the knack of. And so I'm quite, I'm feeling generally quite pleased with my hair. If I don't do anything to it at all and I wash it and let it dry, it looks a little bit sort of fuddy-duddy, if that's the right word. But it only takes a couple of minutes because of the length. Just to add a little bit of texture um, or a little bit of shape to it. And so I feel like I'm in the hair length sweet spot. Now, a while back I did do a video and I remember it very clearly where I said out loud, it might have been Instagram, I feel like I'm in the hair length sweet spot. And embarrassingly, I can't remember which video it was. I did watch a few back to see if I could find where I said it because I know, sod's law, my hair will have been a completely different length to this. Just chilling out by the radiator, as you do. Suddenly got really cold, and you know, when you just need to instantly warm up. Look who's come to join me. This is ridiculous. This is what happens every time I sit down in this house. The kids are at school, so it's not them. But look, we've got the dog and Mr. Bear. Bear! It's like everyone just comes a-flocking. I still think I'm going to relax, you see. Don't you? You think I'm going to relax? You haven't been in a video for a while, have you, Mr. B? Hey? I can't remember the last time I did a book recommendation. However, um, I am putting together my books and chocolate thing that I do every Christmas. Remember? Where I pair an amazing chocolate bar with a really good wrapper with an amazing book that has an amazing cover. This has a really cool cover. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, you know, a masterpiece painting on the front of the cover. It just needs to look up, like graphic or cool or there's something about it, you know. Um, so not only is the cover spot on for books and chocks, the actual book is amazing. It might be one of my favourite books of the year. It might be the favourite book of the year. It's pretty short. It's, um, it's not like a short story, but it's not full length. It's not full length novel. You'll crack through it. I don't want to give too much away about this. So it's about a sculptor called Edith Harkness with a bit of a like a strange, tough upbringing. I thought it was what it was and then it wasn't. Cryptic. It's just beautiful. Anyway, it talks about a, a sort of a love affair um, through the pandemic. But what becomes clear da, 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 as it goes on is that the pandemic isn't the pandemic, uh, which was probably made clear from the beginning, but I wasn't paying attention, I don't know. I'm gonna read it again because I loved it so much. But if you want a book recommendation, um, it's very thinky, but I can't, I can't imagine somebody reading it and not liking it. It's just 
so brilliantly written. And um, if you're looking for Christmas presents, this comes in paperback, so it's not massively expensive. If you're looking for Christmas presents for avid readers, then first of all, wait for my books and chalk video, which is coming out soon. Um, but this is a good one to put on your list. Highly, highly recommend. Should we go downstairs? <laughs> Come on, let's go downstairs, shall we? Everybody follow me. I've been looking for ages and ages for an everyday puffer jacket because I'm outside a lot with dog and just, well, you know, I live in the country. Um, but I didn't like the sheeny, shiny finishes on them. Found this one. Why is my head not in this? This is from Rains. It's a Danish brand. And they do like this rubberized finish. It's not rubberized, it, but it looks slightly rubberized. It's matte. And I'm so pleased with this coat. They're not like massive overwhelming puffers they're so so warm and they've got these quite sort of like slimline fits they also do a boxy fit so they do do big ones but they're very fashion i want to say fashion forward i don't know whether that's um a really wanky term but i want to say fashion forward like they do raincoats for example and they have them with a fishtail um and they have really beautifully shaped almost like a dress coat cut of raincoats, which are well worth checking out. They're like 100, 100 quid, I think, but the quality is insanely good. Really, really brilliant. Um, this was a lot more expensive than 100 pounds, but it's a lifelong investment and I wear it every single day through the winter, and probably. I mean, I'm a cold person, warm heart. So, um, you know, I'll wear it a good half of the year. Uh, lots of people asking whether it's waterproof on Instagram. It is waterproof, completely waterproof. So yeah, it's a good one. Well worth the investment, I think. I hope, nearly ripped it on a bramble this morning, but it feels quite tough, so that's good. Now look, I haven't done any kitchen content yet. I haven't done any reveal. I haven't really shown any pictures. I'm not quite ready. I've got, I've got some bits to do yet. I'm having some more joinery here and I've got wall lights coming and I've got rug coming and we're changing the color of the table and it's all going on. However, I'm gonna show you this. This was my favorite. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this already, but let me give you a bit of backstory because <laughs> what would my video be without a load of waffle before I show you the actual thing that I'm talking about? So we always knew, because we've got this massive sort of wall of glass here, that we wanted something to soften it. And so we had um, very, very lightweight curtains made. Think net curtains, but not like old lady house net curtains, a modern version. Um, and this is what they look like. So pleased with these. Right, hold on, can you see those there? Oh, do you know what? Hold on, I'm just gonna take the camera off the tripod and set. Right, before, that was just sort of plain glass and frame, and that was it. And now, I'm gonna try and find a picture of it before so I can show you. And now you've got this real softness um, with the curtains. Hold on, let me show you the other one. Old crumpets on the table, some kids' shoes, an atlas, a hairbrush. So that's the other side. So you can see that they just, oh, I don't know, they just really soften things, I think. Don't you think? I really love them. So that is my interiors tweak and one of my absolute favorite things of the month. Any questions, pop them below and um, I will answer them probably about four months later, knowing me. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.